Okay, so hey y'all. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another wig review. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. So I'm telling my husband, I was like, I'm kind of sick of buying, you know, one, um, one wig, which will cost me about $50 and I have to kind of wait to get another one because the money adds up. So when I heard about this online on my Facebook channel, I was like, okay, grand opening, let's go. So these are the wigs. Now I'm not gonna review all of them on this one little video. No, I'm gonna do them separately. So uh, the wig for the day that I think I will do is, um, let's go with this uh, Silk Swiss Lace Human Hair Blend in Dory. She's a four by four wig. And she's by Motown Tress. Now, one thing about this deal, I had to make sure they're all were the same brand or else I wouldn't have been able to get it uh, for $50 and the other two free. But I'm glad I did. So I got this one in a 1B. And this is supposed to be a human hair blend, silk lace uh, top wig. So she has like, as you can see, the little swoop bangs, baby. And then the long pieces. And we're just going to get right into it. Okay? So we're going to pull her out because I do have to cut her lace off as always so taking her out the package she has a stock card I'm gonna cut her stock card off her stock card so forgive me if I you know I slur my words a little bit just a little bit I just been feeling really crappy really crappy but this is ain't gonna this not gonna deter me away from doing my J-O-B okay all right so as I can see, she come with all this crap. So as you can see, the unit is really pretty, baby. It's it's a light yakky. I love, y'all know, I love me some light yakky wigs. I love realistic looking wigs. Now, don't get me wrong, I like wigs that look like bundles too. But sometimes you want your bundles to look natural. And when they say soft lace, baby, the lace is indeed soft. It's softer than the lace uh, fr uh, front wig I got on right now. So this is the construction of the cap. It has two combs in the front, one at the nape with adjustable straps, and this is the 4x4 four four parting that gives you the realistic top and look of the wig. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut the lace around the wig, the unit. Okay, so I'm back. I didn't cut all the way. I made sure that I kept a little bit of lace here to give off a realistic hairline so I can fix it later on but this is her she has like I said these swoop bangs which is pretty cute it's okay to me but we're gonna go ahead and put her on I'm gonna take off this unit which is the Zuri Sis moon parting wig It's 20 inches and if you want to know more about this unit I'll have the link in the description box below so you can go check it out so here I have the unit and I'm just putting it on like I normally do I don't do like everybody else I just put her on nothing special and I make sure that I leave a little bit of my hair out and I'm placing her as a middle part because that's what she looked like on the model okay and we're gonna try to fix her up just a little bit One thing I must say, she's very much so bulky. Okay, so I kind of fixed her. What I had to do was spray some water down on her because she comes straight out of the pack a little bit bulky at the top. So you're going to have to spray some water to kind of get her to lay flat. And I will tell you, I'm going to pull it all to the front so we can get a better look at how she looks on the card. And I must say, she looks real cute. She looks cute. Now, she's not my cup of tea. And the reason why she's not my cup of tea is because I wish the entire wig was curly instead of, you know, curls and then straight. It kind of reminds me of like a 
60s, 70s hairstyle. She's still a really pretty wig. You know, if you wanted to cut her in a nice bob, she'll still be cute that way. Or you can keep her as is and she's really pretty. Now, she, like I said, she's not my cup of tea because I, I like curly all over. But I thought she was really pretty because I love the way that the bangs come. You know, I love anything that's in my face. I kind of love it. You know, something like this that's middle part that I can do middle part and it still looks natural. The parting is about five inches of parting and it still looks really natural. You can put it on as an everyday wig and go. Uh, she comes in many other colors. So she comes in at least 11 other colors. The other colors being a wine color and a 1B30, which is a ombre. And of course, you know, a 4, which is a darker brown. You know, DX27, which is a blonde. And a T2... T26613, uh, which is a ash blonde. So she comes in many colors. Now, I will have to see how she looks in the wine. And apparently, she has on like a purple. So if she comes in a purple too. She This look really pretty. Now, I would probably say she probably looks cuter in colors than she kind of does in, you know, just a 1B. I might give that a try because you never know. Certain wigs look really cute when they're different colors instead of just a 1B or B, you know, a 1 or a 4, you know, just solid colors. They look better when they're in color. So I may just give the 99J or the purple a try. So she does come with 4x4 four four of parting, which means you can, from here up here, you can part and there'll still be lace. You can part wherever you want and there'll still be lace but you have to make sure the parting is within the vicinity of where it starts and stops. Because anywhere else, it's just you're going to see pure um, tracks. So my pros is she is a pretty, pretty wig. Just I would love to see more fullness curls in this in this wig, in this wig type. I would see love to see more curls. Um, my cons is I just don't like the kind of swoop it has like it has the layering so the layerings are pretty good as well with the the swoops but i don't like the the layering swoops where they stop right here you know i give me some more layers backwards so i'm not fighting with the swoop bang that's the only thing i don't like is fighting with my swoops okay but other than that she is a pretty weed she retails for about 40 40 dollars don't get me wrong she retails for about 40 dollars which is not bad because this is a really good budget wig um, if you want something just to be uh, just to be versatile and just to look bomb for a night out because she is a date night wig. She's really cute. She's got volume. Don't get me wrong. She's like probably 120, 110 uh, density because she's very light. I love wigs that are very light. Okay. I don't like heavy synthetic wigs because there are a lot of heavy synthetic wigs. But I love that she's light and she gives off this light uh, texture natural look. I love wigs like that all around. Y'all know this. You know this. So she's really pretty. Even when you put her all the way to the back. Look at that. She looks really pretty. Now if I can just kind of take a flat iron and flatten the top down a little bit more because water don't seem to be doing the trick. She'll be bomb. You know if I keep her like this. She'll be bomb to wear all the time. But I thought she was just really pretty on the uh the mannequin head that I seen in the beauty supply store and I was like okay I want her but I seen another wig that really captured my attention and it's a 13 by 4 wig and it's 13 by 4 is like from ear all the way up to the top and she was pretty too so she reminded me of that wig except for her. she was layered and straight so I wonder if you know once the curls fall and I straighten her if she'll even be a balm wig straightened so you gotta come on now you get wigs for certain reasons, but once they start, you know, aging and you can play around with them a lot more once you flat iron, oh baby, they just come back to life. But she is giving me a little life right now. She's giving me a little life. If you wanted to get her just to try her out because you like swoops, you like the natural light yakky texture, you love being able to straighten your wig after the life has gone out, then she's that wig. She is that wig. She's really pretty. She's pretty, but she's just... To me, she'll be much better in a different color. So I think I'm going to try a 99J in a purple. But yeah, y'all, have to shorten this video because I don't know how much uh, space I have on this camera. So tell me what you guys think of this wig. This is the Silk Swiss Lace uh, Human Hair Blend in Dory. 
and it's by Motown Tress. So tell me what y'all think about this wig. Tell me in the comment section below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know. I need to know. We need to communicate these things so we can see what we can do, okay? But yeah, feedback. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button for future notification videos. It's been fun. It's been real. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye. Bye.